Hello, hello, and welcome to Toy and Stitches. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use your swatch to figure out how much yards of yarn you need for your project. And what you're thinking, oh, I don't like to swatch, but you know what's worse than swatching? Losing a game of yarn chicken. No one likes that. So let's just grab ourselves a little swatch and do some quick crochet math so we never have to lose a game of yarn chicken again. So what do you need to figure this out? You're gonna need a swatch, some pen and paper, tape measure, a kitchen scale calculator, and the label from the yarn that you're going to be using. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure our swatch. So I'm gonna measure the length first. So from the top down, my swatch here is about six and a half inches. So I'm gonna write that down. And then I'm going to measure the width. For me, my swatch is seven inches wide. And now we're going to write that down. And what you're going to do now is you're going to multiply the length of the swatch by the width of the swatch. For me, that would be 45.5 inches. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to weigh our swatch. So let me grab my scale. And my scale is already set to grams. If yours is not, just make sure you set it to grams because I find that to be the most accurate. So now I'm going to weigh my swatch. And my swatch weighs 24.4 grams. So now I'm just going to write that down. All right, now we're done with the swatch and the scale for a little bit. So now what we want to do is calculate the total area of our project. So now for me, as I said, I'm going to be using the example of my divine scarf. And I know that scarf, the length of it measures 83.5 inches. And then the width of it is about 12 inches. So now I'm going to multiply 83.5 by 12. And then that will now give me 1,002 inches. If you're working on something that isn't just a square or a rectangle, and it has multiple pieces, say for instance, a cardigan, you're going to need to calculate the total inches of each piece. So you're going to do that for the back panel, the sleeve, and the front panels. And all you're going to do is, say for instance, your back panel of the cardigan measures about 19 inches. So that 19 inches would be your width. And then the length of the cardigan, let's say that is 23 inches. That is your length. So now you're going to multiply 23 by 19. And that will give you 437. And now you're going to do that for the sleeve. So you're just going to want to use the widest part of the sleeve as your width. So we'd say the widest part would be maybe 14 inches. The length of the sleeve, maybe about 19 inches. So you would measure, you would multiply the length by the width. And then you would get... Now that would give you 266. And now most times, whether you're working on a sweater where it's just one, two back, two panels back and front, or a cardigan where it's one complete back panel and then two front panels, these two front panels would equal the width of the back panel as well. So all you would do is double this number. So when you're adding everything together, you would first multiply this number by two, which would give you the total inches for the front panel, for the back panel and the two front panels. And then you're gonna add the measurements for the sleeve. And you also need to multiply that number by two. So that would give you 532. So now you're gonna add these two numbers together. And 
which would then give you a total of 1,406 total inches for your cardigan or sweater. So if you're not working with something like a scarf that is a rectangle and you're just gonna measure the longest part by the widest part and use that number, you're going to just need to work out the length and width for each piece of the garment that you're, and then put it all together. And that would be your total inches. We need to figure out how many times or our small swatch fits into our big project. And how we're going to do that is we're going to now divide this number by this number. So we're gonna take 1,002 and we're going to divide it by 45.5. And that is going to give me 22.02. So we're just gonna round down and we're just gonna say our small swatch fits into our large project 22 times. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out how many grams of yarn we need for our project. And how we're going to do that is we're going to multiply the amount of times our swatch fits into our project, which is 22. And now we're going to multiply 22 by the weight of our, of our swatch. So now when we do that, we are going to get 536.8 grams. So now that is how many grams we need to complete our project. So now we need to convert these grams, so the 536.8 grams, we need to convert this into yards. And then now this is where the yarn label is going to come in. So now we're gonna use the label and we're going to figure out how many yards per gram is in this skein. So on your band, you're gonna look for how many grams the skein weighs and then how many yards. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide the number of yards by the amount of grams. So for me, this skein is 100 grams and there's 208 yards. For you, maybe it's a 50 gram, skein or ball and then whatever the yards are you're going to divide the yards by the grams so our yards per gram is going to be 208 divided by 100 which is going to give us 2.08 yards per gram. So that's how, for each gram of yarn in here, you get 2.8 yards. So now what we are going to do is find out how many yards we need for our project. And now all we have to do is we're going to multiply the amount of grams we need for a finished project by the yards per gram of our actual yarn. So now all we're going to do is we're going to take 536.8 and we're going to multiply that by 2.08. And that will give us 1,116.8 0.5 yards. So that's how many total yards you need to finish your projects. So and now all we have to do, our final step is just going to figure out how many skeins of yarn do I need to buy to get this amount of yardage. So how are we going to do that is we are going to divide this 1,116.5 yards by what we know, each skein of the yarn that we want to buy is 208 yards. So all we need to do is divide that number by 208. And what that gives me is a total of 
So you need, for me, what I would do is I would buy six skeins of yarn. It's 5.3. So we always want to err on the side of caution and get more rather than less. So you would need to purchase six skeins of yarn in order to complete your project. Don't worry if this feels all a little bit overwhelming, like a lot of information. I'm going to write all of these steps out in the description. So at least you can go down and you can just make notes for yourself and then follow along as you're watching the video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share it with someone you think could use this information as well. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, take care and bye for now.